going down everybody it's your boy that guy my high tuning back in for a reaction and this time we got an interesting man we got uh the top 10 terrifying things happening between russia and ukraine obviously a super big topic right now um so yeah i just felt like maybe it was a little appropriate you know what i'm saying let's just let's just see what's up um because this is real it's very real you know what i'm saying so yeah here we are let's go ahead and just jump into this and see what's going down hit the record screen hit the full screen and uh Let's see what they talk about. Let's go. Russia started the invasion into Ukraine right now. They have attacked Chernobyl. Chernobyl has been known for the 1986 disaster when the nuclear power plant First off. <laughs> why 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 are you attacking Chernobyl? We all know there's still too much, way too much radiation going on and, and down in that place for us to be for anybody to be just kind of like trying to occupy the space. Uh, I mean, I guess unless everybody's got enough suits and hazmats and things to protect themselves, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Chernobyl is still just way too radioactive for humans to survive on like any sort of long-term like situation. So, or for any long-term situation. So that's very interesting. I wonder why, you know, like that's, that's one of those things that like makes you wonder like, why are you attacking one of the like worst places on the planet right now, bro? What's going on? Why are you trying to take it? Why, what, what, what's so important about Chernobyl, dog? Hmm? <laughs> and now it will be known in the history books as a battleground. Well, the question is, will it be written as the battleground of World War III? Is this what our kids or our kids' kids are going to be talking about? And we're living in that present moment right now. What's happening, you guys? I'm That's a crazy thought to think. Landon, where the heck That's super crazy, been? but I've well, had that thought. Into this, video. this is the top 10 scary things happening right now with Russia and Ukraine. So starting off this list off, and at number 10, we have the Russian troops attacking Chernobyl. And yeah. just like the 1986 disaster 35 years ago, this attack in 2022 can also set off radiation. There are threats of radiation clouds across Europe. Governments are in fear right now that they believe bombs could destroy nuclear storage facilities, creating a cloud of fallout that could potentially blanket Europe. Back in 1986, all casualties were the direct result of the radiation explosion, and it caused $68 billion in damages. With Russia's strong yeah. military with over 1 million active personnel, and another two See, million... Like, that's what I'm saying, like that just that just sounds so crazy to think that like you know like we're really really looking at like world war three world war world war three there you go <laughs> i don't know why i said it weird the first time first two times but uh that's a crazy that's a crazy thought bro like it's just it's just nuts to think that like we're here you know like it was like to think that just a few years ago like we were still talking about World War II, you know what I'm saying? And, and honoring veterans from World War II and like how, and, and just really just trying to like still regather ourselves, you know, as a world from like the casualties and all the crazy shit that happened in that war. To think that now we're potentially in number three, that's crazy. That's a that's a that's a crazy thought, bro. And to have ever happened in Chernobyl. Just one week ago, there was reports saying that Russia has an active 150,000 troops right now attacking Ukraine. Just three days Damn. ago, there was reports stating that Russia might have over 200,000 troops invading. And now there's reports stating that Russia has over 250,000 troops. Moving into number nine, Ukraine is totally surrounded. Russia borders Ukraine to the north, and they were able to enter the country and attack it all around. They even have forces and troops from the Black Sea in the south. Ukraine at the time of this recording Man, they had really five like... Russian planes shut down. Government held towns got dethroned. Explosions everywhere. There have been missile strikes in Ukraine's military bases. It is a very, very scary time, especially for the residents of Ukraine and for the tens of millions Man. of people who are not able to That'd flee be so the scary, country. Bro. Ukraine has a population of 44 million people. This that is when is you have to... People this, is, this is when you have to just be so like like, like, thankful, you know what I'm saying? That, like, none of this shit is happening on your turf, your home soil. Because could you imagine just one day everything was just regular, just normal. You was living your life. You was, you know, regular problems and shit. And then the next day, like, your whole world turned upside down, bro. And, you, and, and everything is just gone. Nothing is the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, your whole way of living, thinking everything is just out the window like now it's just like survival mode bro like that that'd be just such a, such a crazy transition and and you know like there's hella people who are not good with change and you know like this is this is like 
the beginning of the end for certain people who just like aren't gonna bounce back from like a like this mentally you know what i mean it's crazy bro this shit is nuts this war and it's just so sad to think about all the citizens yeah, it is. i mean this country is going back decades next up number Thanks. eight we have inflation and the economic crisis talking that's like, going to like happen. The i mean gas prices time, have right? already massively gone up down here in canada they're talking about a two dollar per liter gas insane i'm already seeing lineups jerry cans being filled up with gas and i'm not talking about the little jerry cans i'm talking about the big ones there are pickup trucks there are trucks and you see just gas tank gas tank gas tank everyone's mm. filling up because soon well they're not going to be able to afford gas and because of this i do see electric car sales going up because the demand of non-gas vehicles will be in high demand and because of that that's going to drive the prices up and that makes me so vehicles. like that's so, like yeah, Elon Musk, that's so crazy bro that like is so crazy because like i have three cars bro like i have a, a 2017 impala I have a 2021 Charger Scat Pack and a 2021 Camaro LT1. And yeah, all of them require gas, two of which require premium. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. So they're going to make a lot of money, but a lot of people aren't even going to be able to afford gas vehicles. And hell, they're not going to be able to afford electric vehicles. The cost of living is just absolutely insane. Dow Jones is at like an all-time low. I've never seen Yeah, I know. Like Everything is dropping right now. Ever since the beginning of last year, Dow Jones just wiped out thousands of dollars. A lot of investors just got wiped. For you who are fans of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, the market cap just got wiped up billions of dollars. And this yeah. could spark what people are calling the, the, the burst of the housing market, the bubble bursting a lot of people aren't able to afford housing i mean they can't afford it already could you imagine with inflation and all the prices going up everything costing more imports costing more i mean when war happens you have to be able to afford it so what happens is the cost of goods go up inflation nice. is definitely the silent killer number so seven crazy, china man. joining in the war china joining into the war to help fight alongside putin now this is scary so we're talking about one of the most powerful militant forces in the world and the country that has the biggest population well reports suggest that china might be stepping in to buy russia's gas and oil to limit the impact oh, of financial sanctions Commercial. That, that you know the rest of the world is putting on see and that's that crazy shit right there you know what i'm saying like and i know because uh, this video is actually a few days old and there's obviously a lot of stuff that has transpired since this uh particular video was recorded but you know like even, even like with china being like you know coming out and being like hey you know we don't uh, we don't want approve of russia you know, doing all this stuff and, you know, we don't want them to start a war and all that shit. But then, you know, the actions and things that they're doing behind the scenes don't necessarily reflect the words, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's the thing that's that thing that is like the most terrifying is to think that like two superpowers are now working together to, you know, like reign over the world. Like that's kind of what it feels like, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't gonna lie, bro, because... China was always one of those countries where, you know, you just, you had to be careful. They they definitely have the manpower to, you know, create a lot of devastation. Like, that's just the, the facts. That's just the reality of it. And then when you talk about Russia, like, they were always one that you had to keep an eye on as well because Putin is is not, you know, the nicest of human beings. Like, let's just be honest about it. He's not, he's not a great human being. And uh, he's been in power too long, man. I, I, I feel like, He's power drunk, you know, and and there's there's never really anything that good comes of power drunk people, you know, or from power drunk people. So, yeah, and and Russia being a, like the number one like military driven country, like we got a strong military, but Russia they was on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? They be trying, they 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 different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They a little different, but uh, yeah, man, it's just, it's so crazy, bro. This is nuts. This is nuts. So China's trying to help bail them out. Biden has just laid out very tough sanctions on Russia as the tensions increase. But now with the attack happening right now, Biden is forced to put out even more sanctions. And yep. I'm sure more, Which is more gonna countries, especially as part of NATO, are us. going to be putting sanctions against Russia. Which is going to hurt the economy of Russia. I mean, Russia and China have it will. Had rising tensions with the West. So now this brings us to number yeah, six, it. North Korea. North Korea could be using Ugh. this opportunity to attack the West. To attack America. 
North Korea has been threatening America. Kim Jong-un has been testing missiles that could potentially reach California. And there's even some reports suggesting it can reach up to, you know, New York or any place Dang. in America within seconds. With America occupying a lot of their resources to, you know, Ukraine right now, there could be weaknesses. This could be an opportunity for North Korea to attack. Ukraine are trying to defend themselves. So this won't be, you know, like that situation that happened in Afghanistan where there appear to be zero casualties. The Taliban just came in. I don't even think a shot was fired. America pulled out. This is America's mm. longest war. It went on for decades and they just pulled out. But in this situation, Ukraine, they are defending themselves. This is an active war on both sides. Shots fired on both sides. Both countries have very Crazy, strong bro. alliances. More and more She's countries nuts. are becoming involved. Let us know what country are you guys from and what do you guys think about all the tensions that's happening? Could this be World War Three? Number five, technology. Yeah, With definitely. The technology that we have right now, it makes I mean, the scary. reality is, 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 is you, you, like the whole reason, like I feel like the whole like definition of like what we kind of define as like a war, war, world war, world war, <laughs> is when you've got you know multiple superpowers involved, and you've got a whole bunch of random, you know, not, I won't say random, but a whole bunch of countries that you know are being affected or you know in and around or allies whatever like you know what i'm saying when when you have majority of the world kind of picking a side and, and, and splitting it down the middle like there you go you know what i'm saying hell yeah we get we are in the, the the midst of a serious situation not just for ukraine not just for russia but for a lot of countries man like Russia's got troops in a lot of different places, like Georgia and, and some other places, too, where they haven't necessarily made advances or, or tried to do anything just yet, but they, they're they there. Why they're there? To be determined, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then the whole, I, man, I, it's so crazy to think that the whole North Korea stuff, because I feel like we all kind of forgot about that. I know I did. I kind of for, like spaced and forgot that we was even having problems with them. like, you know, they're always, you know, there on the back of the mind or something, but you know, you kind of forget. And that's the crazy thing to think too, that you could forget about a whole nother country that has potential to create a lot of issues as well. Um, but yeah, look, man, this is nuts, bro. It's <laughs> is a pretty, nuts. you know, secretive country. I don't even think they have Google Maps there. You can't view it on Google Maps, like streets or buildings. Or It's a very secret country. They have been producing hypersonic technology, AI, and anonymous systems. We have been learning about new technology that we've never seen before. And you know what's even scarier is during this war, we might be learning or seeing a lot of these technologies being used. They might be right. able to wipe out power grids, which is very scary. They were able to take out America's power grid not too long ago. Do you guys remember when that was all over the news? Well, power has become one of the most essential things. Facts. Number four. Especially if y'all think y'all about to buy electric to cars to replace your gas. Citizens if they should have a major role in what's happening right now in Ukraine versus Russia. The, what do you guys think? That's a, that, uh, that is one of the biggest debates right now is whether we should have a major role in this situation. And I think it's almost like a, I think we all don't want to have a role. I don't think any of us really want to have to be, you know, involved in this because we all know what the outcome of war looks like and, and is in what it is just during it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't, we don't, especially we just pulled, we just finally got all our troops back from, you know, Africa and, and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that was just such a, a crazy 15 year situation or whatever however many years it was um that i know a lot of people don't want us to go back into combat or into some sort of war situation but i feel like it's it's one of those things where it's like it's inevitable you know like we've kind of been inserting ourselves as like the dominance or like the police of the world like we, we i think that's the, uh, the perfect way to put it like we we were like the police of the world you know america so i feel like just off of the strength of that it's going to cause us and, and force our hand to have to do something because people are going to call the bluff i think countries are trying to call the bluff on america and, and how you know and what we're willing to do and how, where we're willing to take this um again you got putin hungry you know what i'm saying greedy so it's just yeah, this is this is this is this is crazy. But I definitely think that it's inevitable that we're gonna end up having to be involved. Um, one, we're a part of NATO, which off tops means that we've already had to help in some sort of situation, whether it be with NATO fighters, whether it be with uh, 
supplies, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like we've already had to assert ourselves into this situation in some manner. So just a matter of time to see where this goes and how far we have to go. Will the American citizens be blindsided and enter full out war? This could destroy America's economy, which would have massive effects, domino effects around the world. This could harm NATO. This will test each powerful country in NATO. Each country are watching to see how other countries are going to react. Thanks. Prime Minister Boris Johnson of the UK, he stated publicly announcing more sanctions against Russia. Prime Minister Boris doesn't believe Putin has a valid reason to be invading Ukraine. I couldn't imagine a civil war in America right now, and this could could be like a make or break for Biden. We all know what happened during the Afghan war. A lot of people are doubting that Biden is capable of being their president, especially during this time. And this could be the time where Joe Biden might have to resign. Number three, mm. we're talking about the unfortunate mm. casualties that happened. Some of y'all heard that I was like, yeah! How many soldiers, <laughs> innocent bystanders, kids, newborns will lose their lives. If this is considered World War III, well, Let's just think about it for a second. World War III is going to be considerably larger than World War II and much bigger than World War I. World nice. War II had 70 to 85 million people who lost their lives. This is, you know, double the population of Ukraine. And already people are calling this the biggest war since World War II. So are we going to get into the millions of people losing their lives? Number two, cyber no war. Problem. A modern day cold war. Like the, the re like the reality is, is our technology and weapons and everything have only gotten more advanced since World War One, since World War two so the likelihood of there being more devastation in world war three is definitely highly like very likely modern day war but with you know more technology online has become the most powerful thing in modern times and if you can attack cyber infrastructures you can really control a country and reports suggest that russia will continue to attack ukraine mm. until they have full control and they will become even stronger and who knows maybe they start to target america this would be a nightmare of a scenario once you yeah, bring war to the american soil i think it's safe to say or you know safe to call this world war three and i'm not sure if world war three whatever end and finally number one the most obvious thing here the scariest world war three Nuclear america's bombs. president joe biden has just joined the g7 leaders who are all condemning putin for reintroducing war to europe this is a virtual closed door meeting of g7 leaders involved are britain canada france germany italy japan and the united states all of these countries have a treaty and an obligation to defend an attack against russia this is an emergency situation with national threats more and more countries will be getting involved to defend. Biden did make it clear that he sent a lot of troops to the border, but said this wasn't a clear sign of an attack, but a sign of a defense. That was just days ago. I mean, this is before the attack actually happened, but now with the attack, I'm not sure if you can just defend. This is going to be an act of Thanks. war and America's involvement. We're just going to have to wait and see mm -hmm. how this plays out. Well, let me know what countries you guys are from crazy. and how this is affecting so you guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I was your host, Landon Do Not Sing. Yeah, it, that's such a crazy thing, man. Like, that's, it's crazy. We trying to, I think for me, I'll tell you how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's scary, bro. Like, I definitely, like, I have three daughters. I have, you know, family, brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews and shit. Like, I have, I, you know, it's scary. You know, it's a scary thought to think that one you know, there may be a point in time where, like, I have to go, you know, like, like, that's a very serious thought on my, on my brain, you know, like, there may become a time where we have to defend ourselves here, you know, like, these are definitely serious things that go through my brain right now, um, and it's scary, you know, because you just, you just, there's so many unknowns, I think that's the part that's so crazy about it, it's just the unknowns, you just don't, no um and when you don't know it's super hard to plan or or act accordingly you know to something that you just don't know and i think that's the scariest part is you can only be so prepared for something that you know like like i said earlier about the people in ukraine like one day was just a regular day they was grinding they was hustling they was worrying about you know how they were going to pay their rent and feed themselves and you know regular things bro and then the next day, none of that shit mattered. Um, it was just pure survival mode. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was, you know, them having the luxury of just trying to figure it out by themselves or them having the stresses of 
protecting family members, children, you know, loved ones and shit. Like, it's crazy, bro. I, I think it's definitely something that is like once it's once we go there, there's no turning back. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think that's the craziest and scariest part about it, bro. Is once we do, once it finally, once once it's once we go, once it's a go, like it's a go, bro. Like we don't, we can't stop this shit. Um, so we're gonna see how this all pans out over the next few months and shit and. You know, but in the meantime, try to stay positive, continue to keep grinding and keep working because this is definitely, you know, the time to just kind of keep it going <laughs> because if it does all just kind of simmer out, you know what I'm saying? Then you've, you've been continuing to keep pushing. You've been continuing to keep moving. And, and you will be in a better position when you get to the when this is all settled and when you know we're on the other end of this and you'll just you'll be in a better position bro you know what i'm saying and that's all we can kind of hope for is that this shit just kind of you know does take its course without taking too many you know what i'm saying lives and too too much damage and too many things because it's already taken a lot from people and it's already it's just looking like it's gonna be worse bro so yeah, man. Very scary. Now let me know what y'all think about this whole situation down in the comments below, man. And uh, yeah, stay positive, bro. The best that you can, because I know it's definitely hard. And I can attest to that because sometimes it, it feels like sometimes when things you just leave looking at the world right now, it's, you look at what you're like trying to do and accomplish and you're just like, man, it's like the world and, and my goals don't line up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just don't. It's they're not working out to be the way it should be because what I want the world may not even offer <laughs> at the time. So, yeah, man, definitely just nuts. Definitely super crazy situation. So, uh, yeah, I love y'all. Stay safe out there. Keep your heads up. Stay positive. Try to keep smiling even through all these tough times because the reality is, is it's the smiles. And, and and the memories and the, and the and the good times that are gonna continue to you know push us through and and you know make us fight harder for what we want and and the things that we want as far as just normalcy and you know what I'm saying things to just be what not necessarily what they are but just better you know what I'm saying so but anyways man I love y'all there's no me without you I'll catch you on the next one peace.